Wido. My name is Tomonori Yasuoka. I have a wife and three daughters. I've known my wife, Kana, since high school. Back at school, she was the center of attention and would always take part wholeheartedly in the culture festival. She's kept that energy into our marriage, and whenever it was someone's birthday, she'd prepare lots of food to celebrate. Ever since our daughters were born, she's made even, she's made even more of an effort. It's your mom's full course celebration special! Yay! It looks so good! The dish our daughters liked best was Kana's amazing apple pie. I also loved it. I love your apple pie, Mommy. Do you want to try making it next time, Yukino? I can't make it. I'm clumsy. Don't worry. As long as you have love, everything tastes good. That's not true. We were always laughing as a family. Kana was a pillar of the family, and we all got along great. I think you are a very happy family. However... Mom... Uh... Mommy... One day, Kana passed away in a traffic accident. Having lost the soul of our family, we cried until we had no more tears left. Kana... The coldness of her skin brought another tear down my face. I promise I'm gonna make our daughters happy. So watch over us from above. Two years since then, I was working hard for my family. I didn't want my daughters to give up their dreams of going to their first choice school. Lacking the cheerfulness of Kana, the only thing I could do for my daughters was make enough money for them. My oldest daughter, Yukino, is now in her third year of high school. My middle daughter, Mitsuki, is in her first year of junior high. And my youngest daughter, Momoka, is in her fourth year of primary school. Welcome home, Dad. Dinner's ready. Did you make dinner today? Of course. My sister's too clumsy. She can't hold a knife without cutting herself. I know how to cook because you can. Yukina had a boyish personality and once went through a rebel phase. So she even commanded her own gang of boys at one point. Thanks to my wife, she's left that world behind. But she still has no interest in cooking or putting on makeup. Too. I'm going to learn how to cook like Mitsuki. Yeah, Momoka's much less clumsy than you, sis. How are you going to get married? <laughs> I'll learn when I have to. The three of them can now look after themselves, which means I can focus on work. But because of that, we no longer celebrate birthdays and Christmas like when Kana was around. One such day, I spot Yukino coming out of the bedroom I used to sleep with my wife in. You need something, Yukino? Oh, uh, yeah. I thought I could clean the room up a bit, but it seemed pretty clean as is. Sorry for going in without asking. I don't mind. I'll see you then. Okay, uh, take care. Yukino seemed a bit odd, but the room seemed exactly the same. So I didn't, so I didn't bother digging into it any further. But thinking back, it was since that day that Yukino started coming home late. Sometimes she'd come home later than me, and according to Mitsuki and Momoka, there's times when she misses dinner. Where have you been till this hour? I was just seeing friends, and it's not even 10 yet. Yeah, but you just made it tonight. Fine, I'll come home earlier tomorrow. Hey! Recently, she locks herself in her room as soon as she gets back. We haven't been talking much. But Yukino is now in her third year of high school. I was worried, but also knew she was quite sensitive, so I avoided asking her about it. No, more like I was scared to ask her. In order to escape the sadness of losing Kana, I devoted myself to my work and now I didn't know how to communicate well with my daughters. Truth be told, Yukino wasn't the only one I was having problems communicating with. Let's go to our rooms, Misuki. Dad, we'll wash up later. Leave the dishes in the sink. I'll wash them today. How about we watch some TV tonight, huh? Isn't that program Momoka likes about to start? No, thank you. Yeah, I'm good. Oh, okay. Mitsuki and Momoka also kept staying in their rooms. There was a program Momoka and I enjoyed watching together, but recently, she keeps turning me down. Mitsuki used to chat to me a lot while washing the dishes, but she's also stopped doing that. I guess I left all the child wearing to Kana. 
Maybe it was only thanks to Kana that our family had such a tight bond. As the only man in the house, I started to feel lonely. One day, what is this? When I was taking out the trash, I found a bunch of bandages covered in blood. Someone's injured themselves, but why wouldn't they tell me? Is Yukino getting into trouble again? There was a time during Yukino's rebel phase when she'd keep getting into fights. She would come home covered in bruises from getting into fights with bullies. Fighting is dangerous. You should just keep your distance from those bullies. No, I can't turn my back to people getting bullied. You beat them up good. It's good exercise. Hey, don't encourage her. I'm sorry, but you're not wrong, Yukino. Just don't go too hard on them. Hey! You worry too much, right, Yukino? That's right. I've done nothing wrong. Of course you haven't. You're our daughter, and we always have your back. Eventually, Yukino came around, and Kana was able to calm her down a bit before she graduated. Back then, I had Kana, who had a knack for sorting things out before they got out of hand. If Yukino is getting involved in fights again, what am I supposed to do? Just as I was worrying about these kinds of things, Yukino got back one day escorted by the police. According to the policeman, Yukino was holding onto her bag in front of the station looking anxious. The policeman felt concerned and so he spoke to her. I found a paleo knife in her bag. Yukino, why would you do that? Don't worry, she's not in any trouble. It's not against the law to carry a knife so long as it's for occupational use, or if one has a valid reason. But do be careful. Depending on the circumstances, she could be arrested. I'm sorry for the trouble. Thank you very much. Your daughter's a good girl. Good night. Good girl? What's he talking about? After the police left, I made a concerted effort to ask you, you know, what had happened as calmly as possible. Why did you have it on you? You don't always go around with a knife in your bag, do you? No, just today. You shouldn't have one at all. And also, I keep wondering, are you really just hanging out with friends? Yukino thought for a while and then looked up fiercely. I'll tell you tomorrow when you get home from work. Tomorrow? Yes, just don't ask me about it anymore tonight, please. She ended the discussion, but I detected no guilt from Yukino's eyes. When I looked into those eyes, I couldn't bring myself to press her any further. The following day, welcome back. Hey, how are you all? When I got home that day, I was greeted by the three of them for a change. Come in, Dad. Oh, okay. Uh, what's going on? The smiling girls dragged me into the dining room. This is Connors. On the table were dishes I hadn't seen in a long time. They were all dishes Connor was good at. Even the apple pie was there. It's her mother's full course celebration special. Yukino prepared all of this. Yukino made it? That's way too much surprise. It's surprising, right? Yukino is amazing. Yeah, this is amazing. When did you prepare all of this? And uh, what are we celebrating? Today is your wedding anniversary. Oh, right. Back when Kana was around, we'd always celebrate it secretly, just the two of us. But ever since she passed away, I couldn't bring myself to celebrating it by myself and have been focused on work instead. I'm surprised you know our wedding anniversary. I only recently found out. Do you remember that time you saw me in your room? Apparently, Yukino had actually been trying to simply clean the room. There, she found Kana's notebook and found out about her anniversary. It's a special day. We have to celebrate it, like how Mummy used to do. And so, we decided to make it a surprise. Yukino insisted on making it herself, even though she sucks at cooking. Well, you're still only in junior high, and I couldn't have you getting home late. Getting home late? Apparently, Kana had been traveling one hour by train to her grandmother's place to learn how to cook Kana's dishes. This is why she kept coming home late. So, was that knife from your grandmother? Yeah, that's the first knife Mum learned to cook with. When I told Grandma what we were up to, she gave it to me. Oh, I see. Sorry for being so hard on you yesterday. Sorry for worrying you. It was a surprise! 
and the blood-covered bandages were from the time Yukino cut herself from practicing how to cook. The reason she kept heading straight to her room was to avoid me seeing her injured hand. Here you go! You got something for me, Momoka? Momoka handed me a colorful book. We made you a present today. Inside the album were lots of photos of us all. Even photos of Kana. It was a handmade album. They're all such great photos! Right? We chose them together. It took us ages. So that's why we're in your room all these days. I flipped through the pages. Seeing so many happy photos brought a smile to my face. I'm so glad you're smiling. Smiling? Hearing that made me realize I'd stopped smiling wholeheartedly ever since Connor had passed away. I made a promise to Mom. Your father is serious, anxious, and introverted, right? So, if something happens to me, I need you to support him, okay? How am I meant to do that? The important thing is to smile a lot around him. Show him your big, sun-like smile. So, we collected a bunch of photos of us all smiling. And the reason I wanted to recreate Mom's cooking was because everyone was always smiling on those occasions. Yukino. We know you must feel pretty lonely without Mom. But you have us, okay? Yeah, you don't have to do all the work alone. I can work hard too, Daddy. You're right. You girls are right. Thank you. I hugged my three daughters who were smiling just like in all the photos. It's been ten years since then and today Yukino is getting married. Ever since that day, my daughters would celebrate my wedding anniversary each year. Yukino continued to practice her cooking and improved every year and eventually managed to win the way to her now husband's heart through his stomach. Apparently, her husband's favorite dish is also a big cream pie, and today was also our wedding anniversary. Yukino had chosen to get married on this day. We're going to start celebrating two wedding anniversaries from this year, so we're going to make it a day to remember. Filled with joy? Filled with joy, I looked up to the heavens. Not a single cloud in sight. I knew you were watching this. I felt my wife's presence in the bright sunlight and said these words to myself.